Hey guys, what's up guys and welcome to another episode of Daily Investment. So this is the 31st of June, that date doesn't exist, this is the 1st of July, uh, Sunday episode. So right, today we are going to cover two path glories, um, I mean you can check out a few of the previous path glories, a few of them are still decent investments. And then on top of that I'm going to talk a little bit about how they're releasing these Festival of Foot SVCs. I'm going to talk about which cards have gone up the most and what you want to buy them for. Because by the time this is released, uh, this is released at 6 and the SBC ends at 5. Which means these players should be on the down there. Uh, I guess on the down. And uh, yeah, you might want to invest in them waiting for the next SBC. Or I think we could be seeing uh, a fair few of these SBCs actually being dropped. Because of course we're going to have big rewards hopefully for some of these uh, bigger later games. So, let's uh, first off crack underway the path of glory. So two path of glories, uh, which I was happy with price wise. is First we've got po uh, path of Thorgan Hazard. The one thing I actually did get wrong the last time is something I said that the team won the World Cup, the whole team got graded. It doesn't actually seem to be that case. I was uh, speaking on the back side. I'm ever so sorry for you guys. But yeah, it's in, it's in about 25k. Now, although this guy does not seem to start, he definitely gets a bit of game time at the end. And of course, because he's got, um, because he is in an attacking position, he's got high influence on the goals and assists. We're saying this guy scores a goal, doubling, you know. Now, I believe one thing going against this guy is still his price range. I think they did up it to 65k, if I'm not wrong. See if I can find one right now. They did up it to 65k, but that's always a drawback. But uh, nonetheless, it'll probably go extinct for a while. They'll release his card. He'll be like, what, a 93 centre forward. And the, uh, the the hype and demand around that card will be pretty mad. Going on to the second card, and that is uh, Path of Gloria Asensio. Again, this guy's in an attacking... This guy is in a attacking position. As well as uh, one thing that's quite nice for Asensio is, of course, uh, like England, they're in the uh, the easier side of the t uh, like the knockouts, which means they should have a lot of game time. Like they should have at least another three, four games, which is uh, pretty decent. And then, you know, they're not the highest opponents, of course. So Asensio, again, an attacking player, could definitely have high influence on the goals and assists. His price range, I think, is still about 65k again. I mean, it looks like it's 55k, so it's uh, not too amazing, but his card will stay extinct for a little while, especially if he gets uh, goals or assists. So that's Path of Glory. So now what we'll do is we're going to move on to cards that are good to buy, um, ready for the next uh, Festival of Foot SBC. So what we'll do in the second part of this is we're going to talk about cards that are basically increased because of the Festival of Foot SBC, which is an SBC that needed a 86 rated team with 75 chemistry, and in return you got a Festival of Foot. Now these are the uh, the cheapest scenarios on um, on Footbin. As you can see, basically positions where there's a lack of high-rated players, uh, even th but low rating go up. Even though it's an 86 rating, let's say there's like a left back or a right back where there's a lack of high-rated players, these players uh, these players are a lot more inflated. So I've got is a list of 12 different players, actually 11 different players because I've just taken Patrice Hever because it's my second take um, of players that are like doubled, tripled, you know, and you can pick them up for 3k, 7 for 7. So I guess we'll start off with some of the lower ones, and this will be Danny Rose and uh, Mr. Leighton Baines. So Danny Rose and Leighton Baines, both English left-backs. So the one thing with left-backs on FIFA, of course, you go straight from 86, 85 to 82. There's no 83, 84 ratings. You either go for a high-rated or a cheap one, meaning people will go with these cheap ones. Now, what you do have to understand is we uh, we have just come off the back of him being for an SBC. So the kind of the price I'm looking for is round about here. Now... I'm not like he did go up more than a 2.5. See if I can find the hourly of today. Hourly of today, and the SPC was released at three or something like that. So he did go all the way to uh, about 3.5k. He also would he would have probably peaked for higher, but that's the uh, the average on the hour. So it means you know it's just the average on the hour, uh, which means it can be a little bit cheaper because it, let's say the peak at 4k, but then they go down to 3k, then it will take the average and go for a 3.5k, even though you might be able to flip him for a fair bit more. If you're going for cheaper, so the price you want to look for this guy is anywhere between like 1.5 to 2k. You buy him, you hold on to him for next SD and make sure to sell him in the hype because he definitely seems to be one of these players that uh, you know fluctuates quite a lot and then uh, of course he crashes back down again. I mean, right there, there's what five, six hundred coins between uh, where we went up to last time and crashed down to. But uh, as I imagine, hopefully you'll be again between 1.5 to 2k and then make sure to sell him in the peak. Likewise, with later bait, so these players aren't uh, aren't too good, but um. You know, I wanted to give you a little bit of a bit of variation, you know, a fair few players you go for. But yeah, likewise with uh, Lazen Baines right now, see so what hourly went up to today. Today he was sitting at Scooby Doo Doo. Well that's about 2.4, 2.5. Again, I would have imagined he'd uh, probably go up a little bit more. And this guy does manage to go down to 1.6. So 1.6 is selling for about 2.5. You know, there's 1k right there. 1k for a 2k investment, not too bad with these sort of SBCs, especially as these are highly anticip yeah, antici anticipatable. Yes. 
Uh, because they're normally, of course, drop when they drop a brand new... Well, the day after they drop... and Sorry, the day and the day after they drop a brand new Festival of Foot team. So, uh, yeah, you could just buy them in, um, in anticipation the day before. So these two are uh, relatively naff. We're now going to head over to the likes of Diego Aspas. Now, Diego Aspas is actually playing pretty well. So he could get himself a Festival of Foot card, which means he gets even rarer. Now, if we look at some of these peaks, he's peaked at both 4.2, 4.6. I mean, I'd say he would have gone higher. And at the moment, he's seeing about 4.3 and 3.7. If we look where he went down to when there was no SBC, breathe. Uh, he went down to about 1.7 and 2k, which of course is super cheap, and he would have gone down cheaper. That's just the average of the day. So you can literally double your coins on an Iago Aspas. It's a great investment. The reason he is good is because the La Liga doesn't actually have any high-rated right wings. You go straight from uh, Bale all the way down to uh, Aspas, and then you go straight to Dembele, and then I think it's to, uh, well, non-transferred Vela, but of course that card's super rare now. And then you go down to like Sabrina and some things like that. But uh, yeah, so basically there's a lack of high-rated right wings in the La Liga. Is what you meditate from that. So you pick him up for two, sell him for four. Then head over to the the duo of Bundesliga centre backs. The Bundesliga centre backs, this is just a lack of high rated. You go from uh, Boateng to Hummels to Socrates to Javi Martinez. And then you go down to Sule and Naldo. So you either go with Martinez, who I wouldn't even want to know how much he is. I mean, I'm not going to lie, I'm actually pretty sure Socrates is a fair bit cheaper. He's extinct, there you go. I mean, he has 15k right there. You go 15k, or you go for a card that is defaultly about 3 to 3.5k. And as you can see, as a result, this card has come relatively rare and goes all the way up to 7k and about 8k. Uh, and therefore, you like doubling, uh, well, yeah, doubling your coins right there. Not too bad on either console. Likewise with Naldo, it's the same story. If we can find a Naldo, that is. There you go, of course, Naldo. Up to 5.3, but 5.4 beat is actually peak. Uh, well, right there, it's not actually saying too good. But there you go, pick him up for 3k and uh, double your coins on a Naldo. Of course, Naldo is less demanded than Sule because Sule is German, so he's easier to link up with like Kimmich and other German players. Whereas Naldo, just, uh, you know, he's good to link up with Sch Schalke players. You've got the likes of Farming you can link him up with. Uh, but yeah, his uh, strong links are a little bit more limited than Sule's. Therefore, he, uh, I guess, is not worth as much. So now head over to the likes of the right back, starting off here with Carvajal. Carvajal, it's in about 7k right now. Of course, he peaked previously to 6k, went all the way down to 3.5 and 4k, so uh, not too bad. 3 to uh, 3 to 4k per uh, per investment. Again, we've got to remember that's the peak of the day, not the cheapest you'll be able to get him for. Not the peak of the day, the average of the day. So uh, yeah, there you go, a Carvajal. This works with a lot of the right backs, Carvajal, Danny Alves, Kimmich I've even got written on here, uh, a few more, so we'll show you Kimmich. Again, the Bundesliga, I mean, the Kimmich, Bundesliga, you do have Kimmich and uh, Pizczek, Polish urine uh, test. But there you go, he went down to under 3k and then uh, went back up here to about 6k. Imagine he probably went up 6 on PlayStation as well. We then have the likes of Alves. I won't show you Alves, it's the same case scenario. We then have over to Laporte. So Laporte is a little bit of an interesting one because um, this card, of course, is transferred from a while ago. So he fluctuates loads because he's not needed for his... Uh, League SBC or his club SBC in the La Liga SBC. But when there's an SBC needing high rating and high chemistry, is amazing because if I go through the uh, La Liga centre backs, we go Ramos, PK, I mean, Godin's in there, but these are really high rated, they're kind of irrelevant. Then we go down to an 85 Iran, then we go down to an 84 Laporte, then we go down to a bunch of 83s, including Umtiti, Jimenez, and some other guy. Uh, so basically, there's a lack of high rated, therefore, Laporte is your middleman between um, your 83s and your 85 uh, Varane, who I imagine is relatively extinct. Therefore, this guy is absolutely amazing. Pick him up for 3k, pick him up for 2k, and he'll fluctuate throughout the day, probably between the likes of 6k, even up to 9k, because, of course, he hasn't been in packs for ages, therefore, he's really rare. In fact, he has not been in packs since, if I check out this card right now, he's not been in packs since the second of a second, so... Uh, it's a long time ago by my calculations, uh, which, you know, means he's a relatively rare card. There's a word to Laporte. We've got two more for you guys. I won't bore you too much today. Uh, Koke. There we go. Koke again is another card that could easily go extinct. Look at that. It goes up to 9k. So, yeah, it goes back down to 4k, 4.5k. Peaks at about 9k right here. Pretty decent. Went up for both SBCs. I mean, he literally went down 2k in the course of, like, two days. So, there you go. you got the, the likes of Koke. We're finally going to end this off with Mr. Edison. So, um, I'm not sure why Edison's used. Maybe because of the likes of uh, Otamendi is a quite a cheap option. Uh, Company is quite a good value for money option. Uh, Fernandini is a good value for money option. A lot of the, uh, a lot of the Man City guys are actually good value. Of course, you've got the wingers or the likes of Sane. I mean, Sane's not too good, but Sterling. 
uh, Bernardo Silva, who actually played extremely well for um, Portugal. The big guy they didn't actually go through because I was like, Bernardo Silva, honestly, was excelling madly in the games. Like, his dribbling was insane. Guy, he went out, you know, I thought he could have, uh, you know, of course, he, I don't think he gets too much game time with uh, Man City. Uh, I don't watch football, but he has no special cards, therefore, to someone who doesn't watch football, it probably means he does not get much game, play, game time. Uh, you know, so that's how it works for us non football watchers. So, thank you very much for watching today's video. Obviously, end off with such a such a wise word. But yeah, thank you very much for watching today's daily investment video. Hopefully, uh, you guys do enjoy it. As I said, the prices won't be. I mean, they'll probably gradually go down. So, these sort of cards you want to look to buy. I mean, any of these could spontaneously go downloads because they're not really demanded for too much. Uh, especially players like Laporte as such. So, uh, thank you very much for watching. If you guys uh, want to, there is another daily uh, Road to Glory video where I actually be I will actually be investing in a few of these on the daily Road to Glory because these obviously have gone up quite nicely. So, uh, once again, thank you for watching, guys. Brand new episode tomorrow of uh, Daily Investments, and I shall see you guys tomorrow on that investment video.